It's it's cute. I, I'm gonna get away from him before he comes and gets me, because I don't want to die in the nether. <laughs> okay, let's go back through. Please don't follow me. Don't oh god. Okay, we're good. We're good. It's vibes. Where in the he Where am I? Hey everyone, it's Zombie and welcome back to Zombieland, my Minecraft single player let's play survival on the 119 snapshots. Except I've missed quite a few of them, probably about what, five now? <laughs> uh, I wanted to, you know, have episodes that were frequently on the snapshot releases, but I found out pretty early on they were very, like, corrupted in the way that, like, we know Zombie Land's a little cursed, right? But, like, they literally would corrupt the save. I'm like, this is not going to fly. I don't like it. Please don't turn me into an Alex. Please don't turn me into a Steve. Please do not delete my advancements. And also my world. <laughs> so, one, I was a little busy. But two, the snapshots just, they weren't the vibe. They were not the vibe. So, here we are. We're in Minecraft 1.19 pre-release number one. Literally, 119 is just around the corner. And that means we are much closer to Optifine and Replay than I thought initially. <laughs> so here we are. I'm not sure you see a little thing in the corner right there. And I want to explain that. Obviously, our tent looks quite different as well. Shayu, I was trying to think. Because when you guys give me a really great idea, you're like, what if you build, like, a cauldron? And you also use the skulk sensors as, like, a, a cauldron-y thingamajig, right? Um, thought it was a great idea. I built it. But as I was building, I was like, how am I going to show you the process of me building this thing? Because I don't have Optifine. And I technically have another Minecraft profile that I could have used to, like, film it. But it was just going to be way too complicated. So instead, I just built a dirt tower. And I took screenshots in pretty much the same spot every single time. Um, so... Somewhere on the screen, if I remember to edit, you should have a little gif looking thing of the process of me building a giant cauldron, and that is what happened about a day or so ago prior to this recording. So now I'm gonna actually show you it. Blam blam, there it is. Oh, I think it's fabulous. Now, here's my thought though, because originally I built this thing because I was like, you know. I kind of want a house, like a witchy house, right? And then I decided I really liked the tent, but I wanted to change it completely to the mahogany instead of having the red wool, because red wool is kind of killing the vibe. So I did that. But look at this masterpiece. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Look at that. It has little, like, smoke coming out the back, and it's supposed to be a giant cauldron pot. Like, that's, like, the handle on that side and the handle on that side. Um, oh. Excuse me. <laughs> I tried to pretend that I'm talented at building sometimes. I think it looks cute. I think it looks cute. Now the spooky thing, because it's a spooky, spooky house, right? Um, you, you walk into it and just wait for it. Oh, I'm stuck. How am I still stuck? Really? How am I still stuck on the stick? It... Okay, well that just ruined the surprise right there. I don't know how I keep getting stuck on the stair. Am I shifted? Hello? What is happening? Hello? Why can't I walk up the stairs? Okay, I got to jump. I'll have to- I'm gonna make it a slab. But anyway, um, it ruined the surprise, but I have three of these boys back here because they look like blue fire. I don't know if this is what the person that suggested it meant, but I'm gonna pretend that's what I think that they meant. <laughs> um, because it just- it looks cute. Like, it's this blue- spooky fire that makes a spooky weird noise every once in a while and i also i put fire pits underneath it so that it like actual like smoke way now and then i put like a little ceiling up here which looks cute protectors you know from the rain and i put little cauldrony pots here and i think it looks great um now i know what you're thinking you're like okay if this isn't gonna be your house like if you're gonna just live in well, you can't see it but if you're gonna live in the tent over there what is the point zombie the point is we're trying to make another hub, right? So why not put the nether portal in the giant cauldron next to spooky things, right? I think it's a great idea. 
I think it's a great idea. So I haven't quite decided just yet, but I'm thinking um, I either want to put it here so it's in the fire pit, or I'm going to put it on the side right here because there's kind of enough room. So I might put it on the side, which means we need to get more obsidian because um, my memory, we only have four pieces that we picked up in a desert temple. So guess what's happening? Today we are going to... We walk. We're going to. Hello, frog. Uh, we, we, oh, another frog. Of course. <laughs> there's so many now. Um, I like that they're spawning in. Um, today's episode. If you haven't already caught the vibe already, we're just gonna be kind of chill. And every single time I say that, I end up cutting it out and making it a not so chill episode. So I really want this to be a chill. We're just hanging out. Um, we're gonna get some obsidian. I want to start like a little baby farm. Maybe have the water over there, or make our own little thing. Just so we have like a food source going for us over here because currently all we have are potatoes, and we really need food to go. So I'm gonna get some seeds and things. Um. Maybe throw a couple torches around so stuff isn't trying to, like, eat us, but that's kind of it. That's that's the vibe for today's episode. I want it to be kind of chill, and I want to talk about some stuff that's kind of going on with my life recently and what I've seen in the Minecraft community, um, and just some, some changes I've just kind of noticed happening in the community, um, which I guess kind of makes this a little bit like an Imagine That episode, except there's not building, um, which I haven't touch that series because I want to upgrade it to 119. So in case you're wondering why that's not there, that's why. Obviously, I'm still waiting for Optifine and um, Replay to do its thing. Oh, also, completely irrelevant. Um, you guys, I got... Can you hear that? I got press-on fake nails for like the first time in my life about two weeks ago, almost three. Um, and I am now on like my, my second set of like different colors and things. I might insert a little picture in here, a little like kind of rainbowy cuteness, which I didn't realize is, is very cute because you know, like May finishes, we get into June and it's Pride Month. I love all my Pride people. You guys are amazing. I love you, my LGBT plus followers, friends, all things. I love you. But I got them and they're cute. My other problem is if they're a little bit too long, I can't type and my 9 to 5 requires me to like type and do data input. <laughs> so sometimes it's a little bit complicated. Um, these ones are still cute. I think I might have to just shave them just like an extra centimeter just to make it slightly easier to type. But if you're wondering like why it takes me an extra second to move or do something, it's because I'm a dumb. Ah! Hello? Are you trying to see the fr Go inside. Be a friend. Go on. Go on. Go on. Yes. Yes, I kidnap you. I kidnap you. <laughs> yes, I have another frog friend. Hell yeah. Do I have another name tag though? <gasps> I do. Oh my god, and I have a baby. Okay, wait, okay. We have Mel Vianni. What do I name this guy? I have no idea. I was going for like an Italian flair, but like, no, I don't know. Um, I don't know. What are you? I'm on the spot because this is uncut now. What do I name him? I don't even know. Um, okay, we have Melviani, who was gonna be Melvin initially. Um let's name him, you know what? Giovanni. <laughs> Giovanni. That's your name. Alright, Giovanni and Melviani. I just realized I named them both technically boy names and I wanted them to have a baby but you know what we don't discriminate here it's Minecraft <laughs> okay anyway um I need to get my materials and stuff so we can actually get some things going let's get our armor it's very nice I have to fix my helmet at some point Jesus okay um I probably I'll probably need my axe but I probably won't need you might need tuna who knows diamond shovel this for protection get our sword get our torches because you never know get our arrow and get our food that's dwindling very, very quickly. Blah, blah, blah. And you know what? I forgot to put the little candles in the other house. Oh, I was also going to put the jukebox, too. We should do that. Let's do that. Do I have everything I need? I'm good. We're not going really that far, so I think we'll vibe. Um, I wanted to put the candles around. Oh, you know, I just realized I don't have a freaking whatever the heck it's called. Flint and steel. You know what? That's okay. That's okay. We'll, we'll figure it out. We will figure it out. Okay, let's do that. Um, oh shoot, I just realized I need to not put this there. It needs to be 
Well, actually, no, actually it can't be there because I need to put the portal there, so <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's just do this and then we'll do you and then I have two more. You know, let's put the two in our actual tent and then we'll make a flint and steel and everything will just be amazing. Yes. Hello, guys. I, you know, I should make them a formal, like, actual house because otherwise they're just kind of chilling. Oh, gee. See, they just jump all over you and be squishy. Y'all are weird. You know, let's make a seance. A little, little bit of that. Noise. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put this in there. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. It can go in here. Yes. Um, we'll put the disc in later. It's fine. Okay. Okay. I, excuse me, frogs. I'm gonna take a sleep really quick. They're watching me. <laughs> okay. They're, you guys are a little creepy. I love you, but you're a little creepy. Okay, let's get out of here. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna be on the lookout for seeds. Um, I don't quite want to break all the grass around here unless it's tall grass. So we're gonna go look for seeds elsewhere. But I want to talk about some things. So, do, 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 do. Okay, I want to talk about like Minecraft things first, and then we'll get personal because that's how it works. Um, so not only you know with these glorious snapshots we've received recently, is that really loud? Am I just like, sorry, I'm gonna turn that down. It's a little loud. Um, with the most recent snapshots that came out, maybe like I'm just not super duper versed on what really what happened in Minecraft Live this year. Just because I was literally at work, so I wasn't able to see anything. Um, so I kind of just caught the aftermath and I saw like what people voted for, which is obviously the mangrove and the frogs and all that stuff, right? Um, so to me, I, I just saw that and I was like, cool, okay, we're gonna get mangrove trees, which we did, they're over there, and we're getting frogs, which are around. Um, oh, and I was really excited for the chess boats, right? Amazing. Super exciting, right? And so I didn't have any other expectations than that. Oh, and we were going to finally get the warden because that was delayed a whole version, right? So that was my expectations. I was living. It was fine. And then I, I happened to follow quite a few of the devs for Minecraft on the Twitters. And I happened to follow a few of them that they announce every Wednesday. They'll be like, it's Wednesday, my dudes, right? Um, they'll announce, like, it's Wednesday, my dude, and then they'll announce the next snapshot that comes out, right? Obviously, this is when they're actively working on stuff. Um, yes. I don't know why I said this like that. Anyway, uh, and usually they're met with, you know, like, goodness and praise from people, and there's no problems, and I don't always, like, go into the comment section of people's tweets, for the snapshots, because I'm like, oh, usually people are saying, you know, kind of the same thing that I'm thinking, which is like, oh, yay, another snapshot, I can update my world, or that thing, that, like, bug was fixed, or whatever, right? So, like, exciting. For some reason, I, like, I see the snapshot release in the last, like, week or two, and I look at it, and I'm like, cool. And for some reason, my brain decided, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna see what people's other thoughts are in here. Because, like, the week before that, we had a, a pretty, in my opinion, bad snapshot. Because it turned me into an Alex. And it also got rid of all my advancements and almost killed my world. So I was like, oh, I wonder if they fixed that issue. Because I don't want to upgrade yet until it's in there, right? I look in the comment section. Is that what, the thread section? What do you call it on Twitter? I look in that. And oh my god, I, when I tell you, and this happens to happen a long time, and if you listen to my Imagine That episodes, like me and drama and the whole thing, um, I now am not the type of person to throw hands pretty much because I'm like, it's not worth the energy unless like I really need to. But I almost threw hands at a bunch of like strangers I didn't know online because people were literally so offensive and rude under this Deb's snapshot tweet. It, it was basically like, I don't, I don't want to long stereotype people or like make it rude, but I, it was like, it had to be like a bunch of like boys, men, people that like live in their mother's basement. <laughs> um, 
that were just be so freaking rude and they were just like oh my god like where is the update to the birch forest and the fireflies like this isn't really the wild update if all we get is the warden and the the chest boats and the frogs and the mangrove trees where is the update to the birch forest and the fireflies like they kept seeing this crap under there and just being so rude and they're like i don't know why you guys are lying to us why did you show us in the the concept art for 119 what this was going to look like and then it didn't happen and blah 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 like just being all um, like so damn rude and i'm like i keep just like i guess you could call it like doom scrolling pretty much because i wasn't expecting to be there for so long and then i realized 20 minutes had passed and i was still scrolling through people's comments and threads and everything and i was like oh my god like people are genuinely being so rude right it just oh it like it offended me to see people doing that and i just i felt so bad because the devs were trying to be cool about it like at first they didn't really say anything and then when people got particularly nasty and then a couple more of them came out and said some stuff like hey don't be this way lol y'all being rude and i decided to and if you follow me on twitter you probably already saw it um i need to get a water bucket do i have a water bucket no can i make one jeez um i decided to like answer underneath the tweet to one of the devs and i said oh my god i'm like i am so sorry people were treating you this way i'm like i don't think they understand how hard it is to update a game regularly especially like it's a free update like I, I get it like people were excited for the updates to minecraft all the time but i'm sorry you bought this game either when it was 26 dollars like seven plus years ago or you buy it now where it's i think is it 32 or 36 now i forget exactly because i haven't bought a version in the most recent years but it's around that range um you bought this game for a one-time price and you're complaining about free updates that they're not up to par for you? Excuse me? Like, it just, oh, uh, it just, like, it irked me. And I know, like, I said something a few episodes back where, like, oh, I wish Minecraft devs would add this, this, and this, and finally I just said, you know what, I need to stop saying that because I don't really know that much about modding and, you know, configuring things and how difficult it may be to add to a version. Like, I know I joked and said, oh, if you can have a two-person boat, why can't you have a two-person minecart or two-person horse, right? It can't be that hard because it's just an entity, blah, 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 blah. Well, you know what, it's a little bit freaking hard to do, and I, I know jack diddly fiddly about it, right? So... I've even corrected myself over really the last year about it. Um, most of it had to do with the boyfriend I had at the time about a year or so ago uh, is a modder and I've seen stuff that he does and it's complicated AF to me at least. And I'm like, I could never do that. Like obviously I could learn. I'd like to learn at some point. I want to make my own mod at some point. But I'm like, okay, I need to have a little bit more respect for people because obviously this stuff is hard to do for the layman, right? That doesn't know it. Um, but just having respect for people because I genuinely, like, every single update that's come up for Minecraft, and I know, like, I joked probably in one of my Imagine That episodes a while back, I said, with, like, when 1.8 came out where it was just, you know, the ocean monument thing, I was like, ew, who wants to do stuff in the ocean? And that's just kind of like a joke thing because I just personally never did anything with the ocean in Minecraft. But then obviously I enjoy the 1.8 update, which was the precursor to the 1.13, which was the big ocean update. Duh. Update Aquatic, which was amazing. Um, so like little jokey things in there. But like I've genuinely, since I've played Minecraft, because I started... Oh, jeez. I the first time I picked up Minecraft was like late 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 2013 and it was in the transition between 1.7.2 to 1.7.4 and this is when they had the new biome updates where they added um they added flower forest they added the uh da -da -da, what are they called I think it's when they added the savannah and they added the dark oak forest, I believe. And maybe the snowy taiga or something like that. Like, they added, like, those biomes. And obviously, I was stoked because... Oh, and the mesa. 
Um, I was obviously stoked because, you know, clay is amazing and um, freaking flowers from the flower forest. Like, whoa, it was amazing. That's when I started. So every single update since then, up to this point now, getting into 119, I've enjoyed immensely. Like, even like when we had the combat update of 1.9, it was a little bit tricky to get used to at first because I was used to spam clicking like everyone else, especially when it came to like fishing rods and stuff. Not that I'm a big PvP -er. But I understood their reasoning for it because they're trying to make it more realistic. Although they did tone it down a little bit because the drawback rate with your sword used to be much longer and now it's shorter. Anyway. Um, but like, I genuinely enjoyed every update these guys have done on the game. And I'm always, that's the wrong way. <laughs> I'm always blown away and I greatly appreciate it and I don't always like say like I'm not on like the Twitter's being like oh my god thank you guys you're amazing da 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 like because I don't necessarily feel like I need to do that but I almost feel like I should do that now because some people are just really freaking rude for like no flipping reason and just like it doesn't make sense to me why people are being that way I'm like you're getting free updates for a game that you bought once and it, I don't know it just like it didn't really sit with me that well because I just, I, I don't see the point of being freaking rude to people for no reason. Um, which is why I said like anything. And it just kind of like, it made me realize that I guess like I'm just, I'm not the same as some people. Duh. And some people are just really freaking entitled. And I, and I don't think that's right to like treat dev people who are... Oh, one, two, three, four. I need four more seeds. I don't think it's really right to treat dev people who, yes, it's their job to update the game and make it cool and everything. I don't think it's right to treat them like crap just because you don't get your specific update. Like, I remember seeing when they were first releasing, like, 113 and 114, I remember seeing all these people complaining, like, when are we going to get the cla the claves? <laughs> when are we going to get the caves updated? We need the caves updated. They're horrible. Blah, 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 blah. When are we going to get this? When are we going to get that? You need to update this. You need to update that. Like, all this stuff. And I'm just like, can't you just be appreciative for what the flip you got right now? Or if you're very unhappy about it, there's a wonderful part of the community that is called mods. And you can play with mods if you want to. Now, I get it. If you're on Xbox, you don't have that option. Um, I think PlayStation is the same. I understand. You can't really mod the game at that point. Um, although I do believe they give beta updates to like Xbox and PlayStation much earlier than they do for PC. So y'all a little spoiled. But anyway, um, I'm just like, people just need to be a little bit more appreciative. And like, if you want to be upset, then I guess be upset. But don't be flipping rude to people. Because it's, it's really uncalled for. And I don't like it. <sighs> My goodness. Okay. Now, beyond all that, um, other stuff that I just wanted to kind of talk about that I've been seeing in the Minecraft community is... Oh, hello, creeper. Hello, two creepers. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my, hello, three. There's three of them. Ew. Die. Die. And die again. And die again. Yeah. Okay, where's the third one? I'm gonna get him too. <laughs> Imagine there's like a fourth one just hiding in there. I would not be surprised. Um. Anyway, other... No. No. Thank you. Yuck. Um, do I have minion on this? On anything? Anything? No. I'm dumb. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Distracted. Oh. Oh, I thought I heard something. Never mind. Um, anyway, other Minecraft things I want to just kind of generally talk about is I've noticed as of late, and I mostly notice it because it's my friends, <laughs> but I've noticed a lot of people are dropping off of Minecraft recently, and it's either because, you know, they've just been kind of busy, or just like life is just being life, or because... I don't know, for some of them, like, the updates aren't as, like, cool recently and blah, blah, blah. And I had a conversation with one of my friends recently just about how the community and the game itself um, is much different than it used to be. Like, it used to be, like, more of a cool 
like hip thing to be like a Minecraft YouTuber. And your your niche was either you did like let's plays, um, like either survival or you did the modded, or you did like S and P's with people, or you did PvP, Bad Wars, uh, role plays, and then eventually you got like the hundred days thing that kind of went over like challenges and everything. And it was cool, you know? Like, that's, like, a cool so many years going on. And as of late, just people are kind of, in a way, kind of dropping like flies. <laughs> They're, like, kind of in a sad way, they are. Don't you... You better not destroy my seeds, I need those. And, I don't know, I was kind of just, like, thinking about it. I'm like, I don't know, like... Am I the same way? Like, do I feel the same way as that? And I don't know. It's really, like, it's hard for me to, like, pinpoint in my brain if I do or not. Because, truthfully, obviously you guys just know me as zombie here. And, and I'm not going to go into a whole backstory thing of what happened to get to me at this point. If you would like to see that, um, please go watch the indicated eye icon of uh, Imagine That to start your journey into how I became me. <laughs> but... Obviously, you guys just know me as, you know, zombie on here, but I've been making content on YouTube in the Minecraft community itself um, since early 2015, like March 2015. So technically, as of March of this year, it's my kind of like seven year like anniversary on YouTube. Now obviously I'm not in the same channel as when I initially started, but that's besides the point. So I hope I don't get lost. <laughs> I really hope so. I should have brought the boat, whatever. Um, I'm trying to look for lava in case you're wondering what I'm doing. But it's like my seven year like anniversary to the whole thing. And I've pretty much for like for the last like six years pretty much straight every single day i was on minecraft every single day either creating content or just playing in general and in the last year itself which would be the seventh year i've kind of fallen off like just a little bit um in part with i was i was graduating college last year um i started my nine to five in september of last year and things were a little like chaotic here and there mentally for me in just the last year and you know, life gets sometimes a little crazy, right? But still, you know, pretty much, for the most part, regularly playing the Minecrafts and enjoying it. And just trying to, like, rationalize that I'm like, do I feel like everyone else, that they're, they're just fully burnt out? Like, am I next? You know, like, am I, am I the next in my like, group of peers that's going to be like, all right, bye, like, to Minecraft and stuff? Um, and just content creation in general. And it kind of, like, it weirds me out. I'm gonna make a boat. And I think the reason why I don't feel so much of that pool as a lot of my other friends and peers feel is because of, and not I'm bringing up again, but whatever, but because of 20 freaking 17 things where I essentially, for like almost a full year, wasn't creating content at all. I was still actively playing Minecraft. I just wasn't recording content of it. So, because I had that whole thing that happened, <gasps> lava! I kind of like, I had like a year break in between where I was just trying to like fix myself mentally and physically and all that sort of jazz. Um, so I didn't have that whole, like, extra time or whatever in there, or I got extra, like, I got extra time, but it was, like, as a break or something. So I guess because I had that, like, kind of mental break, it made me come back easier. And I don't know, I just, like, I don't know if I'm explaining this well at all. I think, like, for me, like, the reason why I come back to Minecraft is because it's something I greatly enjoy. I think it's a fantastic. And... I also just straight up love the game. I think it's amazing. I love seeing the updates all the time. 
Um, I love playing it out with friends or when I had groups and stuff, it was great. It's just, it's just vibes. It's absolute vibes for me. And so, I don't know, or, or like maybe because I'm a creature of habit or something like that, that I, like I'll never fully like fall off or something like that. I don't know, it's kind of like a weird- Oh god, you scared me. It's just kind of like a weird- Oh, there's a freaking village, hello. <clears throat> oh, hello emeralds. I'll take you. No, well. I don't know, it- I'm probably not just explaining this well at all. I'm trying to like- I don't like- Maybe because my own personal stuff that I went through some years back, that's the reason why I don't feel aligned with where a lot of people, like peers and friends, are currently at the community. So that's why I don't feel the pull to be like, alright, peace out. And I don't know, it's like... I feel almost like bad because I'm like, by me still like being here, I'm like, am I like putting them out in, in like a weird way? Even though I, what I do does not affect them at all. But it kind of just like, I just, yeah, it's just like the vibe recently and I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to like really feel about it, if I should feel about it a certain way. Um, it kind of, it makes me sad because especially a lot of my peers just like disappearing or going to other platforms. I'm like, I feel like I'm very alone like I was like five plus years ago. Granted, that was kind of by choice. And this really isn't so much by now. So it's just kind of, it's a weird feeling and, and like concept to kind of like think about right now. That I almost like can't imagine going like more than a few days without playing Minecraft. And I don't know, like, if that just makes me weird or <laughs> too sentimental or something. I don't know. Ooh, do you think they have other crops I can steal? Please, and thank you. Ooh, a Fletcher table. I don't need that, but thank you. I don't know, I just like... And, and this is just like a whole ramble thing, but I'd like to... As always, as I said with the Imagine That series, um, I would like to get your guys' thoughts on anything that I'm saying here. Um, if I'm at all making any sense whatsoever, please let me know. Um, like, am I am I like alone, or like, are we thinking the same vibes? You know, <gasps> carrots. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Yes, 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 yes. I don't think I'm gonna take the beetroot just because beetroot takes forever to grow and it's not really that worth it. In my opinion. Carrots will do. You know, it'd be great if I found a broken portal, I could just take the freaking obsidian from that. That would be fantastic. Ooh, a chest! <gasps> Coal and fish! Oh, it's not cooked. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know. I just I feel in my brain and this is what I'm thinking and it makes me a little sad and I don't know if I should follow the train or not <laughs> like I don't want to but like it's kind of the vibes you know or I guess kind of not the vibes very strange very very strange can I steal your bed for a second sorry I just want to make it the daytime I don't want to deal with this stuff <laughs> Like, I've thought about, because just for me in general, it would technically be a little bit easier for me, instead of sitting down and actively, like, recording content and then trying to, like, edit it later, it would technically be more, ooh, bread. More in my interest to maybe just stream content, and I've thought about it for a while. I had to, like, activate streaming on this channel because it wouldn't let me do it for some reason. <gasps> Another village! I'm gonna go over there. I'm just gonna keep going farther and farther away, aren't I? Oh my god! Lava! This is exactly what I want. Perfect! <laughs> Excellent. Let me just do a little bit of that. Um, I kind of lost train of- where did my brain just go? Uh, oh, streaming. Okay, so would that be something you guys are interested in? Because technically I could now do it on- I'm gonna get out of this actually. I could technically do it now on this channel itself. 
I have been thinking on like maybe I could do it on Twitch just because Twitch seems more practical built for streaming. Although I know they have added a lot more functions to YouTube streaming since the last time I streamed, which is like almost two years ago. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, but like, would that be the vibes? Like, would people come and hang out pretty much? I actually have enough to make a portal. I'd only need 10. I probably don't need to make an enchantment table over here, so I'm not gonna worry about it. No, stop. Stop. You're stinky. Do I need obsidian? Can you... Obsidian. I'm trying to see if I can make anything with it. Apparently, I need one of these. One of these. Okay. Uh, what is that? Oh, <gasps> recovery compass. What is that? Is that for your body? Maybe. Maybe I should make that. Obsidian. Why doesn't it tell me what you can make with obsidian? Can't you make a, a whatchamo who's it? A beacon? No, I don't have the recipe for it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I should take my water back. What there? Back in my bucket. Thank you. Um, I don't need the dirt though. The dirt you do the, the, uh, go over there. Okay. Anyway, I want to go towards the village over there. Um, anyway, I distracted myself, as I do. I would like to do streaming. Um, I don't know. Like, Zombieland to me is still a series that I feel like does well being edited and recorded. But maybe we could have, like, a stream series and I just post, like, semi-edited clips of it. Like, not an entire VOD, because that would just be on Twitch itself. But, you know, funny moments or some stuff like that. I feel like that would be the vibe. I think that would be fun. So, I'm kind of thinking of doing it. Um, I know I had, on this channel, I had like, oh, when I meet certain like sub-requirements, then we'll have like weekend streams or something like that. Hello, sir. I would like to steal this. Thank you. You're jobless. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway. <laughs> Um, I'm thinking of reworking some of those just because I just want to get some things done. Okay, this is being real. So, I just want to know your guys' thoughts on that, just generally speaking. Hello, sir. I can't, can I... Can I knock you down to the ravine? Are you going to come after me? <laughs> That'd probably not be a good idea. Um, but just, just the vibes. You know, like, kind of edited content, but kind of not edited content. The, the reason why I specifically want Zombieland to still kind of stay, like, edited, pretty much, is, um, I kind of, and I don't know if people have been noticing, and this might take a little bit out of it, but I like to add a little story elements here and there. I'm just being real. This is just a chat episode. It's just a it's chatty chat episode, so, it, spoiler, but that's just some stuff I'm doing. Um, anyway, so I need it to be the vibes. Hello, sir. So that's what I'm doing. Also, this place is freaking amazing and ice skating should be a thing. Don't you think? I think it should. I would like, you know what? Minecraft, Minecraft devs. I could give two Skittles about the birch forest being updated in fireflies. You know what I would like? I would like an enchantment to be placed specifically on netherite shoes. This is how far you have to go. So diamond shoes becoming netherite shoes. I would like frostbite as an enchantment. And frostbite means you glide on the ice like ice skates. Or maybe you call it Ice Walker, because I know there's Frost Walker, but maybe it's Ice Walker. Or just call it Ice Skater. I don't know. That's what I would like. That's what I would like to see as an update. Like, I would like to, you know, a Minecraft winter update, you know? Let's play in the snow, okay? The last time we did anything in the snow, it was in the taiga for the foxes. And obviously, we got the normal foxes, and we got, oh, I'm going to take a bell. We got the normal foxes, but we also got the snow foxes, which I routinely kill, but... Have I did not in Zombieland. We managed to get one home. <laughs> um, hello, kitty. Oh, I want to take the cat home, but I don't have fish. That's fine. 
You're very cute. I love you. You look like my new kitten. You're adorable. Excuse me. That's what I would like to see. I want like, I have always impractical ideas for Minecraft and I'm like, please take me up on them. Uh, please, please also just, just hire me as like your weird idea person. Please do it. <laughs> please do. I like, it'd be the greatest like job in the world because I feel like I just generate ideas like nothing. Like I'm the type of person, I don't know if you guys are like this too, but I'm the type of person, if you give me like one idea and you're like, okay, now run with it. I'm like, okay, let me think. Like I need like 10 minutes to think or maybe less because my brain just constantly goes. And slam, I will literally bounce off 10 to 15 to 20 more random ideas. And they may or may not be connected or may all completely be random, right? So please hire me as your idea person. <laughs> please and thank you. Now I can say this, but I, I kind of highly doubt that any Minecraft dev person is watching me. But if you are, what's up? Um, you're really cool. I appreciate you and all that you do. And I will forever respect what you do because you make a great game even greater. <gasps> Emerald. Thank you. Fantastic. All right. Um, also, I just realized I need a piece of gravel. So I can make a flint, excuse me. So I can make a flint and steel. I need a flint and steel. Not only to light my candles, but to light my portal. Actually, you know what? I mm, I shouldn't actually light my portal yet until I have one exactly placed in the nether where I want. Or does that matter technically? Am I gonna be that technical with my nether hub? Because like, does it matter? I don't think it really matters. I really don't think, you know what? I don't think it does. I'm gonna make one and we're gonna poke our head in and see where the heck we go. Because you know what? I did place the portal down by the cabin. That's kind of our eventual goal for our little summer trip here. So I already placed that one. So uh, you, you know, it don't really matter. Oh, it's not that hard to cord in, in, in the nether or anywhere, right? So I should be able to do it. Yeah. Yeah, okay, can I please get a piece of flint? Minecraft! Okay, in the circle of flowers. In the circle of flowers. Ozy posy wozies. Flint, please! Flint, please! Flint! Okay, maybe I'll, like, spin around on it. Eh, do, 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 and... No. What do you want? Like, an offering? Do you want emeralds? I'll trade emeralds for a piece of flint. Give me the flint, please. Dang it, didn't want emeralds. How do you make flint happen? I don't know. Do you want an axe? No, you don't like axes, okay? Do you want a sword? No. Dang it, it's picky, okay? Do you want tuna? No. I'm gonna figure this out. Okay, um... Would you like a bell? Bling! No. This is the world's pickiest piece of flint. Okay, how about a brewing stand? No. Shoot. I'm gonna figure this out, you guys. I swear. Um, you know what? It probably needs a music disc. A blow. Dang it. I don't have that much to offer. What do you need? Do you want me to plant? I'll pl you know, I will plant some trees. I They will never grow because I will never be back in this chunk again, probably. But there you go. Trees. Dang it. It didn't like my tree offering. Would you like a carrot? No. What the heck? Mm, potatoes. Are you hungry? No. Oh my god. What is wrong with this flint? Okay, maybe I need to birth a chicken. Okay, no chickens birth. No. Disappointment. Do you need gunpowder? No. Okay, maybe, you know what, it doesn't like the location. I can, you know what, I can respect that. I would not want to become Flint in this location either. <gasps> Dude, wait, are you kidding me? <laughs> Here's a portal right there. I said, imagine if we found a broken portal and I could just get the obsidian there. But I did find a lava pool, so I guess it doesn't technically matter. But, but, I will go over here because, oh my god, a doggy. 
More than one. There's like three. Hi, guys. I don't have a bone, though. Um, hello? Like, there could be a flint in here. I may not even need you. Ew. Hate those guys. Alright, boat. Stay there. I'm looking for some treasure. Oh, no, not you. Not you. No. Die. N die. N oh my god, there's so many creepers. I have affinity. I could shoot you and miss all that I want. Yeah, you better run away, son. Mending. Oh my god, and there's two flints right here. Are you kidding me? And a flint right there. I also want the goat. Thank you. Okay, maybe... Maybe we need to put the gravel right there. Would you like to become flint now? How about that block? Okay, you're cursed. I don't care. I'm gonna go on my boat and I'm gonna go home. Don't get in my boat. Don't get in my boat. Don't get in my boat. Thank you. Ew. I have to say, drowned are my least favorite mob. My least. They are cool. I think they're an amazing addition. They came from 113. But they are my least favorite. <laughs> Mostly because they sound disgusting, which is the point of them. Prior to them, the mob that I thought was like, ew, you're like literally bane of existence. Yuck. Like in terms of sound, um, was literally the husks. I did not like the husks. I thought they were like gross sounding zombies, which is kind of the point because they are mummies and disgusting, right? But they looked cool. So I was like, eh, they're fine. Nothing could really top them for me, you know? And then they under the drowned and I'm like, y'all are nasty. <laughs> like even the warden, the scares the bejesus out of me he looks cool there's no way i could not like the warden okay like he terrifies me um like he's one of those things where like you're so terrified that you respect them it's that for me but absolutely ow, what just broke what just broke something just broke on me something just broke on me i heard the noise i don't know what it was let me get in a boat so i can figure it out Was my helmet no? You guys heard that too, didn't you? I heard like a chain, like a like a chain sound, like armor broke or something. Am I crazy? I might be. <laughs> uh, I just want to get back to my house. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's kind of lit up. Oh, I forgot to, you know what? Perfect. I have torches. We could put the torches. <gasps> a slime! Ooh, wait, I just read this recently. If we feed frogs a slime, they'll make the babies. I want some more froggies to be spawned in here. Die. Mm, oh, shoot, don't get me, though. Yes. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, God, there's more. Oh, God. They're a menace. Die. And die. Yes. <laughs> All of the slime balls are belong to me. Yes. Death. Haha, <laughs> how many did I get? 18. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, there's my little house. I see the smoke. I should just smoke. It's beautiful. Alright, let's just put a few little torches just around so I can kind of see where I came from. Yes. And yes. Okay, but not all of them because I need it to be lit by my house. Hello, frog. You're adorable. Alright, we're almost there. Oh, another creeper, of course. Oh, creepers. Stop. You know what I would like to see? And I don't know how hard this would be, again, to put into Minecraft. <laughs> I like how I said, oh, I stopped asking, but you know what? Sometimes you can just say ideas and you don't have to expect them to be put in the game. But I wonder how difficult it would be to add into the game. I can't run anymore. Fantastic. Um, how difficult it would be to put in the game, like, creepers that, like, actually, like, blend in with like leaves and wood and grass and everything. Like if, if they literally took on like the background that they were against, you know? And I think there's like a couple of mods out there that do that. Um, so I don't know if they like copyright issues, they don't want to do that or if it's just not in their prerogative, but I kind of like have to wonder, you know? It would be interesting, would it not? 
Also, I'm just going to kind of use up all my torches because I am a torch spammer. <laughs> and I know that I don't nearly need as many anymore because the light have changes, but I don't care. I like to spam because to me, it looks pretty when there's a bunch of torches out and I feel protected in my brain. Also, I don't think you should be able to put torches on the mangrove logs because in my brain, they're like, you know, they're, they're see-through, so it makes me think like they're weaker, so you should not be able to do that, but that's just one person's opinion. Anyway, let me put one of these, and then I guess we'll keep the rest. Okay, let's get in here, squeeze them. Hey guys, I'm going to sleep, and we're going to put a pearl down, and we're going to peek in and be like, hey yo, what's in this nether? Hopefully it's not like and a bastion because that would be terrifying um, I do need to plant these things but that's fine we'll wait I'm gonna eat a piece of bread and another one nom nom noms um, would you guys like to be bred although actually I don't know should I breed them because they don't have a pocket of water anywhere nearby so how are they gonna lay a baby maybe not you guys let's do Ooh, there's frogs right here hello are you gonna follow me oh I think it is yes where's the other one I just saw another one, did I not? Oh, it's over there. Come here, frog. Come here, I want to make a baby. I want to make a frog or baby. Come here, frog. Yes, you. Come here, both of you. Yes. Yes, they're so derpy. <laughs> okay, we're going to make a baby. Here you go. Here you go. Make a baby. Oh, oh, they're going for it. Wait, that was it? That was it? Who, wait, who's the mom? Hello? Where are you? Shouldn't you, one of you be going to water to lay some eggs? I'm so confused. Are you the mom? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Hey, peeping Tom, not allowed. You're gross. You're nasty. Are you gonna make the babies? Oh wait, I wanna see. Oh my god! <gasps> Cute! Oh, you're a mom! Oh, and she left her babies. Great. <laughs> Cute. I want a screenshot just for no reason. Just for this memory so I can look back at it later and be like, why did I take a screenshot of that? Cute. We have little frog babies on the way. I'm excited. Okay, anyway, let's put our beautiful portal down and we're going to take one of these guys. Um, I need... The other four pieces, a blam. There we go. We're gonna make a full portal so that people cannot look at me and be like, why would you only use ten? I'm like, because I'm lazy. Oh, actually, we should light these first. A blam. Yes. And a blam. Yes. And another one. Beautiful. And we have the ones in here. We gotta, you know, do a little seance. Blam, blam. Heck yes. You know, just summon the most scariest creature we could ever think. Yes, Giovanni, you. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. And then we want to put the candles on inside. Actually, you know, we need to put them on. Okay, you need to leave. You need to leave. The fact that I can't get up because the stair doesn't work is making me so mad. Should I just make a normal... Can I just make a slab? I'm just going to make a slab because you, you frustrate me that I can't get up and down easily. Why can't I get up... A Oh, you know, I just figured it out. You can't climb up on mud. <sighs> user error. It's user error. That's the problem. It's, it's, I am the problem. I am the problem. That's what the problem is. Yep. Okay. I'm done. Anyway, I think I need to put my shovel here. And we're going to make a portal. So one... Oh, no. No, that was a little too fast right there. Bring it back. Thank you. All right. Stop. Kill my house. Okay, maybe we'll just break it with my hand. Okay, three there. And then... Well, actually, it's four, isn't it? Which means I'm going to move this candle. We're remembering how to make a portal. Every time. All right. One, two, three, and four. Is that... Oh, I made it too big? 
You know what? We're gonna live with it. It's fine. As long as I make a complete portal, doesn't matter. Okay. There and there. And then one, two, three. See? I don't... It's fine. It looks great. I don't know what you're all talking... It's fine. Anyway, a lighting ceremony. Light it up. 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 Yeah. And light it up and turn it down. Heck yeah. All right. And now we shall light the portal into the spooky land. A one and a two and a three and a lit. Oh, beautiful. Okay. I might need to break these back here in case I ever walk through and I get stuck. And that would not be a vibe. So let's not do that. Noise. Okay. And maybe place a candle back here just for the vibes. Yeah, because you kind of you walk through it. It's cool. No one minds. Lit. Okay. Noise. All right. And now, let me just toss that and that. And we are going into the nether to see how spooky our mangrove swamp spawn is. And hopefully it doesn't break the world. Okay. A little terrified, but it's all good. Let's go. And a one. And a two. And a three, and a zoom. All right, I'm ready. Hopefully it's not too spooky, but you know what? We'll take whatever we get. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, oh my God, there's a lot of Endermen in here. Hi, guys. Oh God, there's so many. Why are there so many Endermans? Oh, this makes me think of old Minecraft, where you just had this as the nether. Beautiful. I like it. Oh, I thought that was going to be a deep hole or something. This is great. Oh, there's a piglin over there. And I'm not in gold anything. Don't come for me. Okay, please. Please don't. Don't do the thing. Um, oh, sh shoot. Really don't, please. This is a cute spawn. I kind of like it. I'm a little scared. That's why I'm extra shifting right now because, um, I have my nails on and I feel like I'm going to unpress shift and fall in my doom. But she looks cute. It's the cute spawn. I can vibe with it. It's great. It's it's cute. I, I'm gonna get away from him before he comes and gets me, because I don't want to die in the nether. <laughs> okay, let's go back through. Please don't follow me. Don't oh god. Okay, we're good. We're good. It's vibes. Where in the heck? Where am I? Hello? Hello? Where's my house? Um... What in the hell happened? <laughs> Literally. Okay, wait, that's the weird... mountain thing. Where's... Is my house over there? Yeah, there's the tor- Why are you over here? Minecraft, come on. Why can't I have a portal be in my cauldron? Why does it have to be over there? What is the point, Minecraft? I don't want it to be over there. I want it to be in my cauldron and be amazing. I'm going to have to probably fix that somehow. I forget how you fix that. I think it's because, like, directionally, like, where it's placed in the blocks, it doesn't like it somehow because it feels blocked in or something. I don't know. But I don't want the portal over there. <laughs> so I'm going to have to fix that. But I think... For now, because of how long this is freaking going, um, that is gonna be the end of this episode. So let's just finish it with my cat walking onto my desk. Thank you so much, Miss Tam. And we're gonna put the music in. Oh, now. There we go. Don't get out of here. No. Stay in. He's disappointed. Please don't step on my keyboard. Tam. Thank you. She jumped down. <laughs> All right. That's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you blam, 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 next time. See you next time. If you want to, please subscribe. And I know I already made a song about this music, but I'm gonna do it every time we end an episode here because I can. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye.